Hi, uh, I am Amy Lizardo, and I am a member of SCOTUS, the United States Theater, and I'm Monday. Uh, to uh, answer a simple question because of uh, the anniversary of um, Justice Sotomayor's confirmation. Uh, it's been 10 years since she was confirmed to the Supreme Court and uh, for the last couple of years I have had the honor of reading as her uh, in Supreme Court of the United States Theater uh, where we take hearings and, and court cases and get to read uh, the cases that have been you know, are either in process or have been decided on. Um, and it has been such an honor to be able to read as her for multiple reasons. Um, she is a brown woman on the Supreme Court, uh, but also um, on a personal note, she has type one diabetes, which I've had since I was two years old. So there's a, another personal connection that I have with her. And so this morning to celebrate um, this, I'm going to be reading um, uh, uh, reading the following uh, from her dissent in Utah versus uh, Streif, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, and so, enjoy. The court today holds that the discovery of a warrant for an unpaid parking ticket will forgive a police officer's violation of your Fourth Amendment rights. Do not be soothed by the opinion's technical language. This case allows the police to stop you on the street, demand your identification, and check it for outstanding traffic warrants, even if you are doing nothing wrong. This case involves a suspicionless stop, one in which the officer initiated this chain of events. <clears throat> uh, even if you are due, without, without justification. The white defendant in this case shows that anyone's dignity can be violated in this manner, but it is no secret that people of color are disproportionate victims of this type of scrutiny. See Michelle Alexander, The New Jim Crow. For generations, black and brown parents have given their children the talk, instructing them never to run down the street. Always keep your hands where they can be seen. Do not even think of talking back to a stranger, all out of fear of how an officer with a gun will react to them. By legitimizing the conduct that produces this double consciousness, this case tells everyone, white and black, guilty and innocent, that an officer can verify your legal status at any time. It says that your body is subject to invasion while courts excuse the violation of your rights. It implies that you are not a citizen of a democracy, but the subject of a carceral state just waiting to be cataloged. We must not pretend that the countless people who are routine, routinely targeted by police are isolated. They are the canaries in the coal mine whose deaths, civil and literal, warn us that no one can breathe in this atmosphere. They are the ones who recognize that unlawful police stops corrode all our civil liberties and threaten all our lives. Until their voices matter too, our justice system will continue to be anything but. This woman's amazing. I love her. Support Scottish Theatre.